I did it. I made a second order of both Hobonichi. I thought I wasn't going to do this until next month, but we had the funds, so I went ahead and did it. I forgot one item from my first order, and I'm going to show you what that item was. I looked all over Amazon for it. I could not find it. So I just thought, why don't I just make another order with Hobonichi, and then I can get some extras for next year. So let's go ahead and unbox my second order. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how this is going to go. So let's just do one at a time. I got three of these extra covers. So let me just quickly unbox them. I got three of these extra ones. And I got three of them because I got three extra covers too. So let's just go ahead and quickly unbox all of these. These are the A6 size cover on cover and they are completely clear. I didn't get any designs because I wasn't sure how the designs would look. So I got this cover, which is the blue and the pink one. I thought it was really pretty and they were, seriously, these covers were only $18 a piece. And for what you get, for $18, let me show you. So you get, like, these are actually very nice, nicely made. I was kind of shocked with the quality of this one when I unboxed it. I was shocked with the quality of it that I was like, oh my goodness. I wouldn't be opposed to ordering another one. So what I did was I got some of the cheaper ones. And this one is blue and it has the pink on the inside because I really wanted some pink on the inside. So I, I was looking actually for like that purple one but that was last year's and they no longer sold it in the A6 size. So I had to just get something different. So here's one of the items that I got and I will put the name of this cover up because I can't remember what the name of it is right now off the top of my head. But I do have some extra covers to change out with this year to make it fun. So. I don't think that I need any more of these solid colored covers unless there's a purple one in the future that comes through because I think like for me I want to be more intentional with next year's purchase and get one of the specialized fabric ones. Um, this year I really liked the Liberty fabrics but I don't think that I could have afforded it with um, everything else that I wanted to get so I went ahead and just like just got the plain ones. So here's the first one for the second order. And then I got this one. I thought it was really pretty. It has pink on the inside as well, but it's actually a different shade of pink. If you can see that, this one's more like a rosy pink. This is more like a blush pink. Even the markers are like a different shade of pink. One's a baby pink and one's more of a bright pink. So this is what this one looks like. So I've got blue and like this aqua green color. It's really pretty. I like that a lot. And then <laughs> I did get another one. So the wall, here is the walk of shame. <laughs> this one because I loved this color. 
on the inside. I thought it was really pretty and it is not the same shade as this. So let's just open this one as well. They give me a silica gel in this one. So I actually like these covers and let me see if I can zoom in so you guys can see the texture of these. It's like that on the outside and the inside. It looks like it would be like wipeable, but I really don't know because I've never seen anything on it. So I got these just to be safe. And not only that, I do have some really adorable die cuts for each of these covers that I was thinking about. So I want to get your opinions. And I was thinking of doing something like, okay, so I got this one. It has black on it, like the little panda. And I thought that would look cute. Oops, there's my hair. I thought it would look cute on this one. Although I have this one right here for my pink one. And then this one, is what I have for this. I am getting a couple more vinyls, but they probably won't be here until next year because I have a pre-order. And then this, because this has like this, does it have light blue? I think it has some like light blue right there on the washi. So I thought it would look good right here. So let me know what you guys think. I do have like these too, have these extra ones that can go on my books, so. I do need to save some for my notebooks. Okay, so let's see what I actually forgot. So what did I forget? Because I had to make another order, I wanted to make sure that I bought enough to make it worth the shipping because I had to, to do another shipping cost. So this is what I forgot. It was only $4, but I really, really wanted it because it's going to hold so let's look at all of them we got the yellow one and this is just their folders yes am i silly yes probably um <laughs> do i care at this moment no i really don't so i did get this from the coffee monsters co-birthday bash but some of them i do want to put in to like some of them them that I'd be working on for that week I do want to put them in something like this and then I want to put it into my book so I just wanted these because they were so cute and I could not find them on Amazon and I was like let's just make another order so that's what I did and they do come three in a pack and this is the second one that you get I think that this one is the cutest one of all of them because it has the tiny little faces and you do get like a thumb. It makes it easier to open, I guess. So this is the back of that one. And then this one is kind of cool because if you look at it and then like here's the pocket and then you flip it over, there she is. <laughs> it's the back side of her. So that one's cute too. But that was the only thing that I missed because I was just too excited and I tried getting everything from my wish list and unfortunately I forgot some stuff because I was dealing with some major, major brain fog that day and I don't remember where this goes so I'm just going to have to stick it somewhere in here. Oh, I got extra page. I got a few extra pages, three, so once these are filled. Nope, I have five. So once these are filled, then that will be filled. And then I got this 
notebook. I actually, I ordered two of them because I wanted to, I was thinking about my collections for my bullet journal. And I was thinking about possibly putting my collections into one of these. That way I do not have to restart it year after year. Like, and some of you guys might be thinking, well, what kind of collections would you be keeping in a book like this? Well, I was thinking of keeping, um, like, my movies and my TV lists and, uh, let me see, in my, in my book. Let me look in my book right now at some of my content that I have. Um, I'm going to be putting my trackers in my calendar. So I won't need to keep my trackers in one of these books, but like coupon codes for shops that I shop at, I want to put those, like get a, once I get a really good collection together after I've written it down in my dailies, because sometimes I just like have to brain dump in my dailies and I will start like getting ideas put together. And once those ideas start to form into more ideas where I'm using more and more pages for these ideas, then I start a collection and then I was thinking of like doing the collection in either this one and it says that this is four millimeters but I'm I tested it with my book and I think it is four mil millimeter grid so I have two of these and yes these can last me a couple of years because these are just blank notebooks and so I got this so definitely made it worthwhile and then I was thinking well if I don't have a lot of collections because I didn't know what I would oh sorry this is what I got and so these are the three memo books and I'll show you where they go actually very brilliant how Hobonichi does this I think that they're like so super intentional with everything that they make so I have these notebooks and they do say that they, they tear out, which I didn't want them to tear out, but I can't feel anything. So it tells me that unless I like I bend it, um, it's not going to really tear out. So I got three and I was thinking if my collections didn't, if I didn't need this much space for my collections and I don't want to like move them over in a book, like. I don't want to restart my collection in every book every single year. So what I was thinking is these actually are the exact same size as these. Isn't that cool? And so these are actually meant to go right here. I can tuck it right in there. And then that can be where I like store my long-term collections at. This It's thin paper, but it's actually a lot of paper. So I'm gonna see if that would work. And then I can move this into my new book year after year after year. So I'm gonna see if that would work better. I didn't know. So I got one of those and then I had to get something that I've wanted for years, but I always take out of my cart because I never want to overspend. And so this year I finally got it. And like the first year that I've ever known about Hobonichi was 2018. So here we are in 2023, I finally got myself a stencil. <laughs> and most people would be like, um, this thing is cute, but it's still cheap. But I always had a budget. And a lot of times that shipping ate into my budget. So this year I finally got a stencil that would work for the A6 and the Weeks and um, it has like these slash lines to make some lines. It has a straight edge which is nice for making lines with and it has like these boxes for making to-do list checkoffs and like star ones. Um, I don't really think I'd use the numbers but I definitely will use the lines and maybe we'll use these boxes. So that was what I got. I know it's completely like a little bit silly. I went overboard, but I did stock up definitely for 2025 as well as 2024. And so my plan for 2024 at the end of the year is to get a fabric that I really love and start to invest in more of the 
specialized fabrics with a leather interior. That way I can just order one and then order my one planner. And then you see, I have probably enough notebooks to last me a few years. And I have all of these cute folders too. So um, that could go in all the notebooks year after year. So I don't have to always keep buying those, but I did want a couple of solid colors to customize um, my Hobonichi with. So, and I can even just hold some of these blank notebooks too in these covers as well to store them in and then put them on my shelf. So that way I see what covers I have and can use for that month or that week, whatever I feel like doing. So if you guys enjoyed this video, it was completely unintentional. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Bye.